Chapter 82, The Header The rise and fall of the original LDS Church Joseph tries to establish a church by celestial laws, but it fails. Brigham Young becomes an emissary and leader under the power of Satan. Salt Lake City is established similar to Jerusalem and is one of the many seats of Satan in the latter days. The LDS Church will send the Book of Mormon into all of the earth because of the pride of its members. 1. And it shall come to pass that Joseph shall establish the church of God among the people, and shall once again introduce into the world the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. 2. And Joseph shall desire of the Lord that the church be set up according to the principles of the eternal laws of heaven, which are celestial. 3. And the Lord shall say unto him at that day, Behold, my servant Joseph, thy calling is not that this people shall have the things of the celestial kingdom of the Father, for many are not of this kingdom, and cannot abide therein, and find their happiness. 4. But thou shalt establish this church for the sake of all of the children of God, so that all might partake of his goodness and mercy, and prepare themselves for the kingdom of glory that they have chosen for themselves. 5. Behold, there shall be many called by thee to help thee bring forth this church that thou desirest to establish among the people of the earth, according to the principles of heaven. And these shall be of a terrestrial and a celestial nature, because of the desires of their hearts. 6. Nevertheless, it is better that the people be led by those to whom they can relate, and understand according to the glory to which they pertain, instead of feeling miserable and tormented because of the glory of the Father, which shall torment them as they hear thy words, which are the words of a true prophet of God, who knoweth the laws that pertaineth to the celestial kingdom of the Father. 7. Therefore, seek not to establish the laws of the celestial kingdom among them, for they shall not abide by them, and it shall lead to their destruction. 8. And it shall come to pass that Joseph shall be likened to Moses and Samuel, and other prophets who, in their desire to bring the people to repentance, disregarded the counsel of the Lord, and did that which they thought was best for the people, according to the desires of the people. 9. And it shall come to pass that Joseph shall begin to set up the church of God according to the principles that he shall learn from the Spirit, and also from the mouths of the holy angels, which are the principles of the celestial kingdom. 10. And the father knew that Joseph would do this thing. For this reason he was chosen. For it was expedient of the father that the children of men be given the opportunity to live by these principles so that they might know that these celestial principles are not those things which all desire to make them happy. 11. And it shall come to pass that Joseph shall introduce the law of consecration among the people. 12. Now this was the same law that the twelve apostles of Christ set up in the church that they established among the people of the Jews. 13. And this law is based upon the principles that they have been given by the Lord, which are principles of the kingdom of God. And these same principles were instituted into the first church of God, which was established by Adam and his sons in the land of Eden. 14. And these principles take from those who have an abundance and give to those who have less. And the commandment is given that, if a person would live by this law, then he would give willingly of his abilities to all according to their needs. 15. And this is the law of communal living, which if lived in righteousness and in its fullness, shall bless a people with exceeding peace and happiness as long as they live this law in righteousness. 16. And those who are rich are those who feel that they sacrifice the most by living this law, for they give of all that they have and receive only what they need, like unto the poor, who do not have what they need, and take much from that which is given by the rich. 17. And now, the rich, who think that they are righteous, have always complained of this inequality pertaining to this great law of heaven, which is not only a celestial law, but is lived in many of the kingdoms of the Father. 18. And now, how can ye that are rich think that this is an inequality? 
Do ye not realize that ye will not be rich except for the poor who have given unto you your riches and have supported you in all that ye have? 19. And now, where do ye suppose that the fine things of the earth that ye enjoy come from? Yea, how are they manufactured and produced? Do ye think that a drop of your own sweat fell in acquiring the materials for all of the fine things that make you rich? 20. I say unto you that ye do not sweat at all, but the sweat cometh from the brows of the poor, with whom ye should be glad to share the abundance which ye have. 21. And now, those of you who are rich, and have a hard time giving up that which ye have in order to live by the principles of the kingdom of God, behold, do ye not see that ye are not ready for the kingdom of God, and will not be ready until the riches which ye have mean nothing to you? 22. And if they meant nothing to you, then ye would not have acquired them, and therefore ye would not be rich. Alas, well did the Lord speak of you when he said, It is harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven than for a camel to go through the gate of the eye of the needle. 23. Behold, all ye that are rich shall never be of the kingdom of God and follow his plan, but are of the kingdom of Satan, whose plan hath made you rich. 24. And the record of the Bible readeth concerning the first church that was suffered to be set up by the twelve apostles of the Lord among the Jews, saying, And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul, neither said any of them that out of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. 25. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. 26. Neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them, and brought the prices of the things that were sold, and laid them down at the feet of the apostles, and distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. 27. And it shall come to pass that Joseph shall attempt to institute this same law among those who shall join the church of God in the latter days. And it shall come to pass that this shall fail because of the wickedness of the members of the church, especially among those who are rich as to the things of the world. 28. And the church shall begin to come forth in that day, but it shall not come forth in righteousness as ye would suppose the church of God would come forth. 29. And now, this is the thing that ye should know who shall receive these things in the latter days. Behold, Joseph shall not be called forth upon the earth to establish a church. Yea, this is not his main mission. But the Lord shall suffer that a church be established to prove all of his words, which he hath spoken concerning the great wickedness of the Gentiles in the latter days. 30. For there shall be much rebellion and strife among the leadership of the church that Joseph shall establish. And many shall fall away because of their pride and their desires to have the glories of men, which they should not desire according to the commandments of the Lord. 31. And even Joseph himself shall become overcome for a time by the pride of his own heart, which pride ariseth in the hearts of all men when they gain power and control over the hearts of those who believe in them. 32. Nevertheless, the Lord shall chastise him, and cause him to repent, and teach the people only the words of Christ. 33. And it shall come to pass that the people of the church of God shall prosper when they are at peace, even when their leaders are humble, and are following the Lord in all his ways. 34. But when they are wicked, and contentious, and seek more for the things of the world than they do for the things of God, then shall the Lord withdraw his help, so that they cannot prosper in peace and be happy. 35. And there shall be those of the church of God who shall be humble followers of Christ, who shall learn the true gospel, and find happiness in that which they shall learn. 36. But many of the leaders of this church shall not listen to the words of the prophet Joseph, and shall be desirous to establish the church and the holy order of the Son of God in their own way, 
And when Joseph standeth against them in their wicked desires, they shall rebel against him, proclaiming that he is a false prophet who would mislead the people. 37. Now, there are many of you who shall receive these things in the latter days, who shall believe that ye are of the church that was established by Joseph in the beginning. But I say unto you, that the true church of God shall not exist upon the earth in the latter days, because of the great wickedness of the children of men, in following the plan of Lucifer instead of the plan of God. 38. And the people of the church, which shall be recognized among you as the church of Jesus Christ of latter day saints, shall be misled and deceived by their leaders. 39. For their leaders shall not give unto the people of their church the true history of the beginnings of this church, nor will they allow them to question the corrupted and manipulated history that they shall teach to the people in their churches. 40. Behold, my beloved brothers and sisters, your leaders do not want you to know the truth behind the history of your church, because they know that ye shall begin to question their authority and wonder why they have corrupted the history and have hidden it from you. 41. And they have done these things so that they might maintain control over your hearts and minds and keep you within the church, so that ye might continue to give unto them praise and glory, and also that ye might continue to give unto them your tithing, that they might create a kingdom for themselves upon the earth. 42. And I would admonish those of you who shall receive these things to seek out the truth, and know of those things that transpired among the people of the church of God that was established by Joseph in the beginning. 43. And I have been commanded to reveal many of these things to you, so that ye might no longer be deceived by your leaders, and that ye might leave the church of the devil and become members of the church of the Lamb of God which shall give you the opportunity to have the Spirit of God, which shall bring you the peace and happiness that ye desire. 44. And it shall come to pass that the government of the beast that shall be established in the latter days shall rise up against the people of this church and against Joseph and shall persecute them and desire to cast them out from among the rest of its people. 45. And in this way, Satan shall influence his leaders so that the church of God shall not have a chance to come forth in righteousness. 46. And Joseph shall do all that is in his power to teach the people the things that he hath learned from the Spirit. And he shall make many attempts to live at peace with the government of the United States, calling upon its protection of the rights of all of its citizens to be protected in their right to worship God according to the dictates of their own conscience. 47. And now, Satan gladly desires that all people worship him according to the dictates of their own conscience. But if there ariseth a religion or a thought that is contrary to his plan, or that supporteth the plan of the Father, then he inspireth those over whom he hath power, and causeth them to persecute and destroy those who do not want to follow his plan. 48. Therefore, it shall come to pass that the United States shall not protect the church of God from the persecutions of others, but shall hinder the church in its formation and its right to establish itself, because it is not a church that followeth the plan of Lucifer. 49. And it shall come to pass that all of the other religions that shall be set up in the United States shall be protected by the principles of this nation. But the church of God, which shall be established by Joseph, shall not be protected, but shall be persecuted and destroyed. 50. And thus it shall come to pass to any church or a people who make an attempt to usurp the power of Satan and cause commotion in his kingdom. 51. And Joseph shall be under a strict command of the Lord, that he shall not reveal unto the world all of the knowledge that he shall receive from the Spirit, and also from the voice of the angels, and from the servants of God that dwell among men. For much of this knowledge shall be contained in these things which are sealed. 52. But he shall be allowed to give unto men that which they are ready to receive, and that which is expedient that they receive according to the commandments of the Lord. 
53. For the Lord knoweth all that which is to come to pass among the children of men. And this he doth not know, except it be by the experience that the Father hath shared with him of those things which have occurred many times before on other worlds like unto this one. 54. And the Lord gave revelations unto Joseph, so that the things that were supposed to occur in his time would come to pass. But of himself, Joseph thought that he could establish Zion, and bring peace and happiness to the world by the principles of this peace, and happiness which he had been given by God. 55. Nevertheless, the Gentiles shall be wicked, and shall be so entrenched in the kingdom of Satan, that they shall not be worthy of a righteous church of God among them. 56. And it shall come to pass that Joseph shall be murdered for the sake of his word, and also because of the great wickedness of the members who belongeth to the church, which he shall cause to be set up among them. And he shall seal his testimony of the truthfulness of his mission with his blood. 57. Nevertheless, the world shall hold his name in contempt, and the church which he shall cause to be established shall be overcome by Satan, and led by him. 58. For it shall come to pass that after his death, the church shall be divided in itself as I have explained it unto you. And those who are in possession of more of the riches and property of this church, and who have more knowledge and familiarity with the beginnings of the church, yea, even the family of Joseph, shall attempt to continue his teachings, and re-establish the church once again upon the earth. 59. And these shall know more of the truths of the history of Joseph, and his teachings, and the beginnings of the church, than those who refuse to follow them, who are the unlearned and meek among them. 60. And they shall separate themselves from the poor and the meek of the church, who shall be the majority of those who have joined this church in the latter days. 61. And the church that they shall establish among them shall rise up and be lost in obscurity, having not the strength and power to combat Satan and his will concerning them. 62. And in that day Satan shall have great power over the hearts of the rest of the people who shall be left in this church, and he shall make one of them his own leader, and raise him up, and Satan shall pretend to be the God of the people of the saints, which is the name by which they shall call themselves after the name of the church that Joseph shall establish among them. 63. And this leader who he shall raise up shall speak with authority, and much power and flattery unto the people, and his name shall be Brigham. 64. And he shall deceive the poor and the meek, and shall lead them into the wilderness, pretending to be an emissary of the Lord. 65. And he shall be like unto King Noah, whose only desire was to set up a kingdom for himself, and bring glory to himself by captivating the hearts and the minds of the people with his flattering words. 66. And it shall come to pass that Brigham shall lead the people to a land of wilderness, near unto the remnants of a great lake which once covered that part of the land, when the earth was in its infancy. 67. And the remnant of this lake shall be of no worth, and shall be of salt, and the people shall cause to come forth a city that they shall call the city of Salt Lake. 68. Now, this shall come to pass according to the mind and the will of Satan in all things. For he knoweth that the poor and the meek of the church of God cannot read, nor can they write, but that they are strong in their backs. Therefore they would need a leader to lead them and teach unto them the things of God. 69. And Satan knew that if he could raise up a leader among them, then he could give unto the people the blessings that he hath given to all of those who worship him, and follow the course of his plan. 70. And the area in which this great city shall be established shall be like unto the area that surroundeth Jerusalem. Behold, both being established near the borders of a sea of salt, which provideth no life to the children of men. 71. 
And these things shall also be according to the knowledge and purpose of the Lord. For as the waters of the earth giveth life unto the world, so also shall the word of God. But the Jews and those who shall inhabit the city of Salt Lake shall not have the pure waters that flow forth from the mouth of God, but the stench that cometh forth from the sea of salt, which are the precepts and commandments of men. 72. And the people of Salt Lake shall be like unto the people of Jerusalem, and shall be reminded by the stench of that great Salt Lake which is near unto their city, even that they should keep in remembrance that they do not have this pure and refreshing water that can give life unto them. 73. And Brigham shall use his power over the people to build a temple like unto the temple at Jerusalem. And in all things shall this people be like unto the Jews. 74. Now, this is the will of the Lord, so that he can one day show forth his power unto them as he did unto the Jews. For the great temple which shall be established among them shall one day be destroyed, like unto the temple at Jerusalem. And all these things shall come to pass, because these people of the city of Salt Lake shall be like unto the Jews in every way. 75. And Brigham shall become great, and glorious as the servant of Satan, and shall do whatsoever thing that he is commanded by Satan. 76. And the city of Salt Lake shall become a great city of commerce and business, even so much that the government of the United States shall take notice of its greatness. 77. And now the sole purpose of Brigham shall be to get gain and set himself up above the people so that he might be worshipped by them, and receive of their glory. And by the works of Brigham, Satan shall establish himself powerfully amongst those who think of themselves as the righteous saints of God. 78. And from his works shall rise forth one of the most powerful religions that the world hath ever known. Yea, it shall be more powerful even than the great Catholic Church that shall cover the earth during the days in between the times and the half of time. 79. And though its numbers shall be few in comparison with other religions that Satan shall cause to rise up in the latter days with his subtle ways, shall Satan begin to use this church as one of the means that he hath set up to perpetuate his plan and bring all men under his power and his control. 80. For behold, in the last days this church shall show forth the glory of the blessings that it hath received from Satan, by its great temples, and its churches, and the great amount of money, and property which pertaineth unto it. 81. And its members shall pursue the things of the world, and aspire to the honours of men, and many shall receive these honours from Satan, who they believe is their God. Nevertheless, they do not recognize their God as Satan, for he hath deceived them with the riches and the power that they shall possess. 82. And in his pride Satan shall laugh at the Father, and he shall also laugh at all the holy prophets who have been upon the earth, who have testified against the great wickedness that shall be established in the last days among the children of men. For behold, this church shall demonstrate to all the children of God that a people can seem prosperous and righteous and have peace if they follow his plan. 83. And now it shall be revealed further unto you in this record more of this great and abominable church which shall be known among you as the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 84. Yea, it shall be revealed further unto you of their hypocrisy and their wickedness and their secret combinations and also of their downfall as the great day of the Lord approacheth. 85. And I have explained many things regarding this church unto you in this record. For this church shall have the record of my father among them. But they shall be like unto the Jews of old, who had the records of all the holy prophets, yet they did not read them, nor did they understand them. 86. And the Father shall use this church, and its greatness, and its glory, and its money, and the deception of its people to allow this record to be given unto all the earth. 87. For these people shall believe that they are the only righteous children of God upon the earth, and that a man cannot be saved unless he joineth their church, 
and receiveth the ordinances that its leaders have prescribed for the salvation of the people. 88. And because of this pride, many people shall carry the record of my people to others upon the earth, who are the elect of God, and are searching for the truth of God in all things. 89. And these shall join this church, but shall come to know that its works are evil, and then they shall depart from it. Nevertheless, they shall take with them the record of my fathers, which Joseph was commanded to bring forth unto them. 90. And after they have received a testimony of the things that are written in the part of the record which is not sealed, then shall their hearts and minds be ready to receive these things which are sealed, and have been preserved for them who are elect, even those who shall have the name of the Lord written in their hearts and in their foreheads. 91. And they shall know that the things revealed unto them are true, because they testifieth of the wickedness of the world and the great corruption of the children of men as they live by the plan of Lucifer. 92. But these things which have been sealed up shall come forth and give unto them a better understanding of the plan of the Father that they did not consider. 93. And if they are elect and do not belong to the church of the devil, then they shall be received by the Father into the church of the Lamb and therein they shall find the peace and the happiness and the righteousness that they have desired all the days of their lives. End of chapter 82